Hey everybody, Abolitionist Jay here with today's vlog. It is currently about 4.30 on June 13th, 2018. I think this is now the 22nd vlog. Um, and, I don't know, the 12th or 13th since I've actually been on the road. Maybe more, I don't remember. But yeah, so, currently, Murder Dog and I are hanging out in the Planet, Fit Planet Fitness parking lot where I finally went ahead and got that membership. Uh, I finally signed up this morning, and I just came back now and took a shower. So, woohoo, four days in a row. Uh, that was nice. Um, now, obviously, I can make use of this one. Well, as long as I have somebody watch Murder Dog or it's cool enough, because today was well rainy and yucky and cool, so she was able to hang out in the car for the 20 minutes I needed to run inside. Uh, yeah, um, other than that, since I talked to you folks last, we, uh, you know, like I said, unfortunately things did not go well with the, seeing the kids yesterday and then the whole thing with getting pissed on, you know, that was fun. Um, well, we attempted to settle down for the night uh, at the marina and unfortunately we got kicked out last night. Um, considering we had stayed there a whole bunch of nights, never had a problem. I'm guessing one of my haters... Um, tip somebody off or something because you know like I said I'd been down there the security had been down there nobody had ever bothered me uh, but now all of a sudden last night I was uh, harassed and told they had to leave because the parks closed even though this marina is open um, you know and they claim some things about permits for the cars but none of the other cars that were parked there had permits so yeah it definitely leads me to believe somebody I'm pretty sure I know where it came from but Anyway, that they, uh, yeah, they tipped us, uh, tipped them off. So, uh, yeah, we got booted out of the marina last night. So that was fun. So at about one thirty in the morning, when I had been sitting quietly in the in the vehicle, just watching a movie, getting ready to pass out, uh, there was knocks on the window. And then, of course, I had to proceed to take all the <coughs> all the blackout shades down and shift things back around so we could drive. And murder dog and i ended up driving around a bit and just ended up finding a street to park on and put everything put all the black blackout shades back up and 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 then went and then tried to go to sleep for a little while uh of course you know that was a little bit inconvenient in the morning so we woke up then it was like okay now i have to find some place to go to the bathroom i'm in i'm in a neighborhood i can't just do you know i can't just wake up and do what i normally do um and then you know taking her for out and stuff uh, luckily we had ended up somewhere near another dog park, which we had never been to before. So we made it over there. But like I said, it was, you know, it was kind of yucky and rainy and that place is you know, like half dirt. So she got a bit of, a, she made, she made a bit of a mess. I tried to clean her off the best I could getting her back in the car, but you know, that's, uh, that's why I like that one park in particular. Although, you know, like now, like I said, I mean, after the incident yesterday with the guy with the Rottweiler and now, you know, not being able to go back there at night because, I'm sure we could test it again, but now, obviously, my car has been targeted, so that would probably be a bad idea. So we're going to have to move on. We're going to have to find something else to do, somewhere else to be. Um, maybe just do the straight-up stealth camping again uh, all over the place. So it's going to get a lot more interesting now. Uh, other than that, uh, unfortunately, because of the rain and because things with the wife, well, I keep referring to her as that. I, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to because uh, it's really stressful between us and because of everything with us and then the rain, uh, you know, it was difficult to uh, see the children today uh, unless, of course, I had some kind of plan. I'm still kind of baffled by that because after she just, you know, up and took them away without consulting me and just made a plan on her own and promised that she would, you know, try to make it up to me, I still have to come up with a plan. I don't know. That seems kind of weird to me. But again, you know, what do I know? So, yeah. Uh, so we've just, uh, Murder Dog and I have just been hanging out most of the day, unfortunately. Uh, been a sad day. I've been crying a bunch, you know. Like I said, I'll, I talk about these things because, well, I like to be as honest as I can. And despite what the uh, wife has said before, um, there's a re the only reason I'm not more honest was to try to be nice to her. That may change. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so, uh, I was really sad about everything, and so, uh, we just kind of hung out and cried a bit, and, you know, that was great. Um, but then, uh, we d I just decided that, yeah, you know what, it's time to go, uh, time to go get that shower. 
um, and see if I can feel better after that. So I had come up here earlier today and I, I signed up for the membership and then they told me I had to wait like half an hour or, or an hour before the, like my little card thing was ready. Um, so I said, yeah, I'll just come back later. So I came back, picked that up and took a nice shower. Uh, my, my shower flip flops broke, which kind of sucked, but Hey, at least I got through the shower with them. <laughs> I, I got to head over to the dollar store now and pick up another, uh, another pair of those. Plus I, I realized when I walked in the gym, I haven't, I haven't had a gym membership in forever. I had a Bally's one years ago and I used to go a lot, but I like wasn't even thinking, you know, you need your own lock for your, for the lockers in there. So, uh, I just kind of hung everything on the, on the towel, uh, on the towel rack, uh, nearby where I was showering and got in and out of there pretty quick. Um, you know, one of these days I'll probably make use of their facilities as far as like working out and stuff. But for right now, as I've said, the whole plan was just to, you know, ju- just having it for, you know, the, the ability to take, you know, multiple showers in a day if I want every day. Like that was, I felt that was worth the, the uh, 22 bucks a month or whatever. I, I think it actually ends up working like 25 with the annual fee and blah, blah, blah. And so, yeah, but even even still for that much money, you know, even just the showers alone are worth it because as I've discussed, I did have a lot of difficulty figuring out the shower situation. Man, I got lucky a lot. I had, you know, my, my friend Lori offered me her place one day to shower. I had that client that I had that I was able to shower there. And then obviously I was upstate for the past couple of days where I got to shower in a house. It was nice. Um, but yeah, on the whole, it had been a little difficult. So, yeah, finally got that. And now, let's see. Well, now it's Wednesday and we're, uh, we're, we're a week away from when I... At, well, at the latest, I planned on leaving for the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest next week. Um, originally, I, I had talked about I I I wa- I'd wanted to try to get the South Dakota run done before that. Um, so I had thought that you know maybe I would try to head out. I was gonna I was gonna try to work out the timing and then leave maybe Sunday or whatever I had to do in order to drive straight through straight as you know pretty much straight through or at least as much as I could out to South Dakota. And then, you know, maybe crash for a couple of hours and get up and keep going and then uh, spend that one night there and then take care of all the uh, DMV, you know, the, the driver's license and residency stuff and then swing back to the fest and then meet up with the wife and kids there. And and then hopefully uh, swing by to see uh, Mr. Ben Stone afterwards, uh, unfortunately, because, again, everything that's happened and the. Uh, the way the week has, uh, the, you know, the, the lost week with things I needed to do that I couldn't do because, well, my backup wasn't here. I, uh, I still got to get all that stuff done and I still have to spend probably a, the good part of a day in traffic court to settle out all the stupid license BS. And I didn't want to take the risk of trying to get that done and then having them del- like, you know, take their time actually lifting the suspensions. And then I get out to South Dakota and there's an issue and then it's, I made that trip for nothing type of deal. So as much as I want to get that taken care of, so I have, you know, so I, I don't have to worry about it anymore. It just doesn't seem to make sense right now, uh, unfortunately. So I'm probably going to have to do that at a later point. Um, most likely it'll have to wait until I'm finally able to leave here for good and start scouting out uh, areas in Indiana. And then when I make one of those trips, I'll have to go from Indiana the rest of the way to South Dakota to pull that off. You know, like I said, I wanted to get it done, but circumstances as they are... Um, and, uh, <laughs> as it seems to keep happening, I mean, you know, I don't know, pe- some people claim that I just, I'm claiming victimhood, but these things keep happening. I don't know. Anyway. So, yeah, so we're going to, uh, so probably gonna have to skip that. So now my plan is, well, again, haven't really talked to the wife. We don't, don't really know what's going on there. Um, I still plan on being in Michigan. Um, I still plan on having my kids there. Uh, we'll see how that works out. Um, if I have to put them in my car, it's going to be a little difficult. I mean, we did it last year with the three of us and murder dog. Um, but I wasn't, al- I wasn't also living out of the car at the time too. So I would have to figure out how to, you know, what I could, what I could shed. And I'd, I'd have to go pick up the car seats, uh, from the storage unit and shift everything around. Um, so I hope that's not the case cause that'll just make it even more difficult. But the plan is either way to try to head out, uh, a week from today and, uh, if I am driving solo or just you know, just Murder Dog and I, we're gonna we'll plow straight through the eleven and a half hours. We've done it multiple times before. Uh, if I do have the girls with me, then they'll they'll probably want to stop for a night. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we'll figure it out. But I I would prefer to take off on Wednesday and get there as early as possible on Thursday because you know I think noon on Thursday is when you're you're officially allowed to start showing up and setting up. So I'd love to be there then 
So I get to uh, hang out, uh, you know, for as long as possible. And then obviously once everybody else starts showing up, get to see uh, all my and fam and stuff as mu- for as long as possible. Um, cause yeah, I desperately, desperately need that. <laughs> and, uh, despite everything that's going on, I, you know, I'm pretty sure my kids would, uh, will enjoy it. I mean, they had a, bl- they had so much of a blast last year that they, uh, hadn't stopped talking about it. I mean, obviously now they just came off of another vacation, so they're a little distracted, but you know, once I mentioned Michigan yesterday that I saw the eyes light up, so we shall see. But yeah, like I said, uh, one week from today, I, I hope to be on the road uh, to, to, to Michigan. And then uh, after the fest, uh, I'm going to try to hook up with, uh, well, Shane Radliff, who will be there. Uh, the two of us are going to try to hook up and head down to visit Ben Stone for a little while. Um, and then I'll, I'll then I'll come back. And uh, by that time, we'll be closer to my July 9th court date. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we'll have more information about that. But I'm going to keep trying to do these uh, daily, you know. I've obviously had a bunch of up and down days, um, but, you know, it's one of the few things I got going that's keeping me sane right now, uh, especially with the uh, turmoil at, on the uh, quote unquote home front. So I'm going to keep trying to do them and uh, still haven't figured out the whole, you know, camera issue or whatever. It, it only worked right away this time because I apparently I forgot to turn the laptop off last night. So it went into sleep mode and I actually left it plugged in most of the time. And so while ever, while I, when the car was running, it kept charging it back up. So it never actually died. So I didn't have to reboot it this time. That was fun. Um, but yeah, I'll have to figure that out. Um, oh, and tomorrow, tomorrow's Thursday, the 14th. And uh, that's when Anthony Samaroff, uh, the uh, from the Scottish Liberty podcast, is supposed to be doing his live stream haircut that uh, I had said I would take part of. So that's going to be, I believe it's scheduled for 6.30 to 8.30 Eastern time, um, you know, 11.30 to 1.30 in, in the a.m. Uh, his time out in Scotland. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to, there's supposed to be a huge bunch of guests, you know, a bunch a bunch of different podcasters uh, all kind of getting together and jumping in and having conversations. And I am looking forward to that. I do, you know, as I mentioned before, I like Anthony a lot. Uh, I love talking to him. Uh, I think he's a really smart guy, and he's got a lot of great stuff to uh, to a lot of a lot of good content and a lot of good ideas. And uh, this is something that he just wanted to do for fun and try to bring a bunch of people together. And I I was I was all for it. So, you know, sometime tomorrow, late you know early evening, I'll start seeking out a good spot for Wi-Fi so I can hopefully take part. Uh, for you know, I told him I would try to be available for the whole thing. Um, but you know, as as long as I can get in there for a little bit and hopefully uh, you know have some fun. And also uh, connect with some of these other podcasters who I haven't actually got to know yet. Um, you know, maybe I'll get some interviews out of that deal too. Uh, that's obviously something I'm looking forward to in Michigan at the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest because, you know, part of my packing was bringing all of my supplies with me to do a, to do a full out recording. And uh, I'm, I'm I'm hoping to be able to set things up and uh, do a bunch of them there because you know I'm gonna eventually I'm gonna start falling behind in my podcast and whatnot and uh, that's just inevitable <laughs> in fact I don't even know there's uh, uh, abolition of subtractions is supposed to be out tomorrow I don't even know uh, that's probably not gonna happen at this point so um, so anybody who follows that along too sorry I may have to skip a week I'll try to remember to throw together a tiny little thing just to say hey it's me I, I didn't pod fade I just I need I, I'm taking the week off um, but in case I don't this is my warning <laughs> Um, but come next week, hopefully I'll, I'll have some, uh, I'll have some more content other than these videos. Uh, I do still have some small, uh, you know, the, the smaller videos I took on my phone. I have a couple of those that I, I have, I still haven't put up yet cause I was trying not to flood the system. And, uh, so obviously th- there, those will be a couple days old by the time they finally get up, but I still have at least two or three more of those. And, uh, once things settle out around here a little more, hopefully I'll have some more videos like that as well. And, uh, yeah. So, like I said, now it's uh, it's getting close to 5 o'clock. Probably going to head down to the dollar store and uh, try to get some new uh, shower flip-flops. And uh, I don't remember if they have locks there. Even if it's a cheesy one, whatever. I need it for 10 minutes when I'm at the at the gym. I'm really not that worried. Um, so, hopefully grab one of those. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see if... I don't know. Maybe, uh, apparently, my one daughter has uh, been uh, having some behavioral issues today. Uh, maybe if she calms down enough, maybe I can get the wife to bring them somewhere so I can hang out and eat dinner with them or something. Um, cause yeah, it's, again, it's just, I know I keep harping on it, but it just, it sucks, you know, <laughs> cause it's now been over eight days and I've seen him for like a, you know, half a second basically yesterday. So <sighs> relationships are hard. Adulting is even harder. 
but yeah. Um, but anyway, so like I said, I, I am in good, good, better spirits because of the shower. And now that I finally got that taken care of, once I start knocking some of this other stuff out, I'm sure I'll feel a little bit better. But, uh, you know, other than that, like I said, uh, depending on what happens, if I'm able to see the kids or not, otherwise murder dog and I will just try to figure out some place to, uh, sleep for the night. And, uh, you know, hopefully we don't get chased out of there too. <laughs> Uh, like I said, I, I, I'm pretty sure I know who it was, or at least the group it came from. Uh, my wife has suggested that, you know, maybe it was other haters cause I have a lot of them and that's fine. You know, um, regardless of who it was though, I do want you guys to know because obviously I, I know you motherfuckers are watching. It still means I'm in your head. You're not defeating me by doing that. You're making things inconvenient temporarily, but it still means that I'm in your head that this this long after the fact, you're still trying to find ways to hurt me. That's power, baby. Thank you for giving me that power. Because with everything else that's gone on, I need an extra boost. So yeah, your hatred fuels me. Anyway, folks, that's about all I got for right now. So I will sign off, and uh, I'll check back in tomorrow. This has been Abolitionist Jay. I'll catch you later. Peace, y'all.